Maryland's very humid. So the winters are very cold and the summers are very hot because of the humidity. If the humidity wasn't there, it would be, it really wouldn't be that bad. Um, my first winter there, they had actually had the worst storms they'd had in like 80 years or something. And we ended up within three days, we had close to seven feet of snow. And I mean, everyone's like, oh, you're from Utah. You should be used to snow. Yeah, snow melts in Utah. Snow doesn't melt in Maryland. So it piled and piled and piled and piled. And we had cars in our mission and we were not allowed to drive cars when the snow was on the ground. And so that meant that we couldn't drive our cars, right? Well, we had all the snow on the ground and nobody knew where to put it. There's nowhere to really put snow, at least in Pennsylvania, which is where I was serving at the time, because they don't, they're landlocked, so they don't have places to just dump it unless it's in the river. And they'd been dumping so much snow in the Potomac River that the river was overflowing. And so they were just pushing the snow up and down the street with a bulldozer and with people with their trucks for pushing up and down the street and um, they just weren't prepared for the amount of snow that they received and when we were driving to uh, zone conference no it wasn't zone conference so we were driving to for transfers and our branch president was driving us and the snow was piled so high on the sides of the freeway that you couldn't see to be able to get on and off the freeway because you had about a nine foot wall of snow to be able to have to see around. So I mean, nobody could see around the snow and it lasted for months just because it was so cold. And um, so that was probably the most extreme weather that I had. And then in the summertime, everyone's like, oh, it's not usually this hot. This is a really hot summer, but I preferred the summer to the winter because I wasn't I wasn't cold and there wasn't snow everywhere. Um, but generally, from what I understand about the area, is that it's pretty temperate. Um, they do get snow and they do get rain. It also rains ice in Maryland, so you'll have ice storms where they'll go into somebody's house and you'll be teaching them, and you'll hear you'll hear it going on outside, and you'll walk outside and you'll have two inches of ice all over everything from the roads to the cars to the houses. If you're out in it, it hurts because you're being pelted with ice. Um, wool coats are great because nothing much gets through a wool coat. And, but yeah, ice storms were something I was not used to seeing out there. But they, that does happen through the winter quite a bit is they'll have ice storms.